Hey, welcome back to the cabin. Um, I'm really excited um, coming up to the cabin this time because um, when I was in the city, I, I sorted out uh, an internet option for the cabin, which I finally found one. And um, what I decided to do is give it a give it a go, basically. So the company's called Maple Wi-Fi. I'm not sure if it's a Canadian company or what, because uh, when I ordered um, ordered it, uh, the equipment was shipped from California, so I'm not sure. Um, but basically, what 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 it does is it, it works off of 4G mobile data. So whenever you're out with your phone, it's the same sort of data stream as that. Um, so I knew I knew up in the cabin there was a phone mask somewhere because because um, my mobile phone will pick up data on it. But because the data plans in Canada are rubbish, because you know you only you have to pay a fortune for like a half decent data plan. I mean, I only have like 20 gigabytes, but I go through that like no tomorrow. I watch one hockey game and boom, you know, um, it's you know half of it's gone. So um, so I opted to go with Maple Wi-Fi. They give you two options. You can get like a portable type of router. Um, so if you're like an RV or something like that, um, you know, you, you can just use it in your, in your RV and, you know, you've got internet when you're driving on, on the highway or whatever, or when you're camping up somewhere. And the other unit is more a bigger unit with antennas and stuff like that. And I thought, because I live in the forest, I just thought, okay, I'll opt for that one because it's more sort of a permanent sort of solution. And with the antennas as well, I thought, okay, well, maybe it'll give me better signal strength. So I opted for that. So when when I opened the package, when it came, it just, you know, I'll just show you the router now. So there's the router there. I've got it set up temporarily on these sort of plastic sort of thingamajigs. So um, buckets. So this just came in a post and these aerials came in and, and a power and a power bar. And you just plug in, um, there it is, you just plug it in there into your, you know, you're into the wall or whatever. And you just screw these things in and uh, you just turn it on and you, you know, and when you get five lights, like, like it shows now, you're, you've got internet. So on the first night, on the first night, um, when I turned it on, I was only getting like six megabytes per second download and about four or five upload. So I emailed the customer service um, email address and the guy came right back to me and he gave me some suggestions. So I went into the router settings and uh, I removed some of the band signals and um, and the internet speed increased. Um, so I I haven't like I've had it since Wednesday and I've been using it for a couple nights, a couple days. And it varies the the internet speed. I just did a check now uh on my phone and it said 52 megabytes per second. Um that that's really good. Um but normally it's anything from around 20 to 40. Well, today it was like really high. So, um I've left the router on and stuff like that, so they're going to email me back. But, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. And the upload speed's around 7 megabytes per second, which is pretty good, actually. Um, so, yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. And another thing that I really liked about this is that if I go abroad, if I go back to Britain, um, I can just suspend it. I don't have to pay. But if you were to opt with one of the Canadian providers, you end up having to pay regardless if you use it or not. So... Um, that would that was another bonus for me actually when I decided to go for it this is the only option apart from Elon Musk's Starlink and I looked into that as well but um, it's not available where I actually live until sometime next year so it is an option I suppose I can try and another thing what you like about Elon Musk is that basically they ship you all the gear and you just assemble it yourself you see when I looked at ExploreNet ExploreNet should have something like this in Canada because, you know, they rely on a technician to come up. So if you live in the back and beyond, then you've you've got no ch no no chance of getting it set up because they won't come up unless they can drive their truck up to your property. I mean, not everyone has a driveway up to their cabin, um, so you're shit out of luck. Um, and that was the situation with me as well. So, 
So yeah, I like the Elon Musk option. They just ship it to you wherever you've got an address um, and then you just assemble it yourself. And I looked on YouTube and it's, it looks pretty straightforward. So you can't really go wrong. Um, so, so far, uh, I'm pretty happy with Maple Wi-Fi uh, with the speeds and the stability. I mean, I haven't had that circle of doom come up on my laptop when I'm watching something on Netflix or whatever. So that that is good. Um, and I can watch a hockey game as well. And that was one of the main incentives of getting internet up here, along with, you know, uh, speaking to my family in the UK. Um, I can Skype them whenever I want now. And, and also when I'm outside the cabin, I can still pick up my Wi-Fi, probably be about maybe 20 or 30 feet around the cabin, which is OK. I can sit on my deck and I've got Wi-Fi and I can just, you know, uh, use my phone. But I can't go really far because the signal isn't very good. So, but I knew that anyway. So I knew as long as I have it in the house and just outside on my deck, that's fine. Or where I'm chopping wood, um, I can listen to music on my um, on my phone. Um, so yeah, so that's where I am at the moment. So obviously I'll monitor it, and they do give you a seven day money back guarantee. So. Um, so, so far over this first week or so, I haven't had any major problems apart from the first day when I, you know, when I set it up, when I just couldn't get the speeds, but they came back to me right away, the customer service team. And the guy gave me, you know, talked me through what I should do with the router settings and stuff like that. And it was pretty straightforward. So, um, and it seems to have made a difference because my speed's a lot more faster and stable now. Um, but they're going to email me back in a couple of days just to see how I'm getting on. So, um. So I'll tell them uh, once they email me. So yeah, so so I've got internet. It makes such a big difference up here when you have internet because you can just communicate with people, um, and you just you know you have that you have it there to use whenever you need it, which is really nice. I mean, I don't use the internet loads, but I do like you know watching a hockey game or if I want to Skype my family or whatever. I can do that now. I don't have to worry about my data being eaten up or. You know, not having any data until the, you know, until it renews, you know, in a month's time. Um, so now I've I've got it, and I can just, you know, I'll I'll see how it goes over the next few days. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd let you know in case there's anyone similar to my own circumstances where you know you've tried all these providers and they won't come up to your cabin or house or whatever for whatever reason. Well, you could try Maple Wi-Fi as long as you have like a a, a mobile tower fairly near to your house. Um, you can get this set up. It's pretty expensive, um, but I mean, I don't really have any other options, uh, to be honest. Uh, so I'll, I'll wait and see what happens next year. Um, but like I say, I do like the fact that if you cancel it when you're not here, you can just um, re restart it again. I think they charge you 20 bucks. Um, but yeah, so, so I'm quite happy. Um, but anyway, um, I'll let you know, I'll give you a review as I use it to see, you know, if it's reliable, you know, if it doesn't crash or whatever, but touch wood so far, it's been okay. Uh, okay. Um, cheers for watching. Okay. Take care. Okay. Bye.